Item number 7621 Level 1 Unrestricted Containment Class Euclid Disruption Class Blam Risk Class Notice Special Containment Procedures Due to the fact that SCP-7621 requires other anomalies to function, active containment procedures are not considered necessary. Instead, containment efforts are to be focused on locating and acquiring anomalous dice before civilians inadvertently trigger SCP-7621's effect. SCP-7621 is a phenomenon in which dice possessing anomalous properties will undergo a change in their effect after being placed in any container referred to as a dice jail. All possible synonyms of dice jail will also activate SCP-7621, including, but not limited to, Dice Prison Die Detention Facility D6 Penitentiary Bones Lockup Rolling Stone Place of Imprisonment Plastic Cube Penal Institution Luck Implement Oubliette Manifestation Logs The following logs are an example of several SCP-7621 manifestations. Full list of SCP-7621 manifestations is available upon request. Die Number SCP-7621-1 Initial Anomaly A 20-sided die that is abnormally loud when rolled. Final Anomaly A 20-sided die capable of speech. Note, this is the first recorded manifestation of SCP-7621, discovered when its owners got annoyed at how loud it was and jokingly put it in a box to think about what it's done. It then proceeded to relentlessly insult its owners, comparing them to corrupt cops, and stating that they cannot silence the truth. It is unclear what truth the anomaly was referring to, as it has yet to express anything other than indignation at being imprisoned. Die Number SCP-7621 The Chaz Initial Anomaly A six-sided The Chaz that can only be referred to as The Chaz. Final Anomaly A six-sided Larry that can only be referred to as Larry. Notes It is believed that SCP-7621 has caused Larry to reconsider its name, as the name, The Chaz, was found to have a rating of minus two gels. An objective anomalous measurement of how cool something is, with the previous theoretical minimum of zero. Foundation personnel have expressed relief at not needing to use the name again. Die Number SCP-7621-1 Initial Anomaly A 20-sided die capable of speech. Final Anomaly A 20-sided die that only lands on one. Notes, the die created in the first manifestation was incredibly verbally abrasive, and had been the cause of 32 personnel being committed to the psychiatric unit, so SCP-7621-1 was placed in a soundproof box labeled Dice Containment. This inadvertently activated SCP-7621. Personnel familiar with role-playing games consider the new anomaly to be significantly worse, and some speculate the new anomaly was intended as revenge against the researchers for imprisoning the die again. Die Number SCP-7621-3 Initial Anomaly A four-sided die that is anomalously likely to be stepped on. Final Anomaly A four-sided die with human legs that steps on the feet of persons within one foot of the die. Notes: SCP-7621-3 was neutralized after it accidentally stepped on a separate four-sided die, causing it to scream out in pain before exploding into hundreds of dice. These dice all have a very high probability of being stepped on. Research is being performed into weaponizing the new dice against hostile groups of interest. Die Number SCP-7621-1 Initial Anomaly A 20-sided die that only lands on one created in the third log. Final Anomaly SCP-7621-1 spontaneously bursted into flames and disappeared from its container. Notes, a piece of parchment was found in the container that stated the die was sent directly to Dice Hell for egregiously immoral roles, 
which was mentioned to be one of the seven Dicely Sins. It is unclear what the remaining six sins are. Incident Log On September 18, 2023, an incident occurred in the Site-327 Chapel that is believed to be connected to SCP-7621. The following events occurred. The candles spontaneously ignited with a brightly yellow flame. Liturgical music started playing without an apparent source, but the sound of rolling dice took the place of musical instruments. The stained glass windows changed to depict dice versions of religious figures, such as Jesus and Mary. All holy texts became copies of the Dungeons & Dragons Player's Handbook. A twenty-sided die with a halo rose out of the ground. Testing has confirmed this die is SCP-7621-1. It has not displayed any anomalous property since this incident. Religious experts speculate that SCP-7621-1 repented and redeemed itself for its sins, and was allowed to leave Dice Hell as a result.